Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Caitlin and in this video I will be decorating fall sugar cookies. These cookies were cut out using 3D printed cookie cutters made at our store. Check out our website for all of our cutter designs and be sure to watch until the end of the video to learn more about our custom cookie cutters. Let's get started. To decorate the mug cookie, start by outlining the cup section with Flood Consistency Royal Icing. Then outline the handle and add a line in the center to prevent cratering when we flood this section. Use white Flood Icing to outline the three sections of the whipped cream, adding lines to the center of each section. Finally, outline the cinnamon sticks, adding zigzags in the center of each. Set this cookie aside to set up at room temperature for five minutes. Flood the cup section of this cookie, making sure to cover the entire section. Use a scribe tool to smooth the icing and make sure it covers the outline. Flood the handle section and smooth with a scribe tool. Flood the middle section of whipped cream with white icing, making sure to smooth it. Finally, flood one of the cinnamon sticks and smooth the icing with a scribe. Set this cookie aside to set up at room temperature for 15 to 20 minutes. Once the icing has set, flood the remaining whipped cream sections and smooth with a scribe tool. Set aside again to set up at room temperature for 15 minutes. Flood the final cinnamon stick and set aside to dry completely for several hours. Use a stencil frame and measure which side matches the thickness of your cookie with the icing. You want the stencil to make contact with the icing, but it should not be supported by the icing. Place your desired stencil in the frame and place over the cookie. Pipe some medium consistency icing onto a rubber scraper and apply to the stencil by gently scraping over it. Make sure the icing only covers the cup section of the mug. Lift the stencil frame straight up to remove and use a scribe tool to clean up the edges. Use medium consistency icing to pipe the stems and leaves of the greenery. Pipe a rosette with stiff consistency royal icing between the greenery stems. Use medium consistency icing to pipe detail lines between the whipped cream sections. Finish this cookie by adding details to the cinnamon sticks with medium consistency icing. To decorate the candle cookie, start by outlining the rectangle section with flood royal icing. Pipe a curved line from the top left corner to the top right. Then pipe a rectangle in the bottom section with flood icing 
and add zigzags to the top section and the rectangle. Set this cookie aside to set up at room temperature for five minutes. Flood the main candle section and smooth with a scribe tool. Immediately after finishing the main section, fill the center rectangle with flood icing. Set aside to dry for 15 to 20 minutes at room temperature. Once those sections are dry, Flood the top section and smooth with a scribe tool. Set aside to dry at room temperature for 15 minutes. Use medium consistency icing to outline the curved line and rectangle. Then pipe greenery on either side of the rectangle. Pipe a teardrop in the top two sections, then pipe one in the center of the candle section. Set this cookie aside to dry at room temperature for several hours before moving on to the next step. The icing should be completely set before using an edible marker, otherwise it will poke through the icing. Draw a wick under each flame and write pumpkin spice in the center rectangle or your favorite candle scent. To decorate the floral pumpkin cookie, start by outlining the five sections of the pumpkin with flood consistency icing. Set aside to dry at room temperature for five minutes. Once the outline has crusted over, outline the stem section. Flood the middle and outer sections of the pumpkin and smooth the icing with a scribe tool. Set this cookie aside to dry for 15 to 20 minutes. Flood the remaining pumpkin sections, smooth with a scribe tool, and set aside to dry. Flood the stem section and set aside for 15 minutes to dry. Use medium consistency icing to pipe the stems and leaves of the greenery. Fit a tipless bag with petal tip number 103 and medium to stiff consistency royal icing. Pipe individual petals for the flower between the top two greenery stems. Add two rosettes under the flower and small dots to the center of the large flower. Allow all cookies to dry for 18 to 24 hours before packaging. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and turning on the notifications.
Your support will help us grow our channel and create more videos. If you are interested in custom cookie cutters, start by sending us an email with your desired shape and dimensions. We will draw up a sketch and email you the outline with the projected pricing. Once you let us know the cutter works for you, we will print it and it will be available for pickup in store or shipping. Let us know in the comments what videos you would like to see in the future. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, check out the Royal Icing Decorated Sugar Cookies playlist on our channel. Stay updated on our newest products and our upcoming video projects by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Our social media links can be found in the description box below. We love to see the treats you create and how you use products from our store, so be sure to tag us in your posts. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.